All right, hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, if you haven't seen this video, it's pretty good. <laughs> Oof, it's a, it's a rough one to see. Now, always be mindful, situational awareness. Just be paranoid. Be one of those person. Be one of those people that are paranoid because if you're paranoid, if you're always just looking around, always be aware of your surrounding because you never know. Truly, you never, never know because this, this can happen anywhere. And then make sure if you are, if you don't need gas, don't pump at night. That's one of those things that I learned from one of my other YouTubers that I watch. Don't pump gas at night. Don't get cash from the ATM at night. Don't pull up to the bank at ATM at night, you know, because, you know, it's just not safe. But then during the time can be not safe too. Some of these thieves are so stupid and brazen, like they don't care what time it is. And you know, if they want to rob you, they're gonna do it. But just be mindful. You're most likely to get robbed and um, jacked or murdered at night than you are in the daytime. And always just be aware of your surroundings. So let's go ahead and watch this video. <clears throat> so I got my homie right here. Um pumping gas he's got a he's in a 300 c um if you ever if somebody wants to jack your car just give it to them it's property um it could be replaced you can't all right just, just remember that just give it to them whatever they want just give it to them money whatever items could be replaced that's why you have insurance if they steal it strip it down doesn't matter the insurance will take care of you usually all right <clears throat> now what tells me this is just a robbery and they didn't want to kill the guy because you got him. You got him dead on. Dead on. You got, he's right here. You got a dude on the roof with a gun pointed at him. He's got him dead to right. So if, and then you have two more other guys over here. So there's three, I think three or four of them total. Ah, okay. So there's one, two, three, four people. And then plus the getaway driver. I mean, why why would you want to steal a Chrysler 300C, the car that's worth about, I don't know, 33 grand? If less than that, depending on the market and where you are at, it's not even worth it. Splitting that four ways, or should I say five ways, including the driver. And another thing, too, the more people that are involved, the higher the risk is of you getting caught. Because one of these people will tell the story to somebody. And they're going to say something. And then it's just the ripple effect. Once one person gets caught, all the other ones are going to fold. And they will get caught. Because the first person that usually gets caught, they get a better deal. If they talk, they get something. And then they'll probably want to talk. Because ain't no way I'm doing 10, 20 years for you, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm talking. That's why I don't. <laughs> that's why I'm not out in these streets. So yeah, they, they, they got them. Oh shit. So there's the driver. One, two, three, four, five. So you got five people. Five people. Now, this driver right here, he did the right thing. He ran away, ran inside. You know, I hope that, you know, he didn't because they didn't kill him. I don't think they did because he's the reason why. Because the homie that jumped on top of his car had him dead to rights. And even right here, you got him dead to rights if they wanted him dead he would have been dead so that's just that's insane here's another angle see right here homie got him dead to rights he's like fuck this i'm out but why is he the only one getting targeted right why, why is he the one the only one getting targeted if you look on the lot you got a corvette right here and then you got a BMW hatchback right here. But yet he's the only one that's being targeted. <clears throat> look at that. Look at the kind of look at the kind of steel these guys are rocking. Is that an AK-47? I think it's a little bit of an overkill for just a little robbery. So you got a handgun, AK-47. Let's take it back a little bit. See, even even right here, he's got him dead to rights. If he if he just fired his shot, this he would be dead. 
dead to rights. All, all of them got them. They got them. They got them. Oh, look at that. Three. Three of these. They got them with. There's three of them with AK-47s. You got them. So the homie runs inside. And then they run after him. I don't know why, what the reason is. But then after that, they just, you know, they book. They, they book. So this is the state of affair in Los Angeles, or um, Philadelphia. Carjackings in Philadelphia as of October 4th this year, 1,042 last year. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. So let's let's break it down. How much how much are these cars worth? How much is a Chrysler 300C worth? All right, so we're doing the math just just a tad bit here. Just 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 a little bit here. So you have a car that's worth starting price is about 33,000 goes all the way up to 42,000. Let's just say he's got the V6 or the V8, even the 45,000. 45,000, right? And this is just me being generous because you're not going to get that kind of price on the street for a stolen commodity. Ain't no way. But this, let's just assume. All right. So you got 45,000. Let's just say they get $45,000 for this car. All right. So 45 divided by five people. That comes out to about $9,000 each. And that's me being, again, generous that they get the full asking price for this 300S. And let's just say it's a V8 model, right? Not saying that it is, but it, I don't know from this photo. I can't really tell. Somebody, please um, let me know what, what version do you think this Chrysler is? And, okay, then now we're going to go to the bare minimum. Like, let's just say it's 33000 33000 divided by nine, uh, five people. So you're looking at $6,600. So 9000 to $9,000 being on the high end and the low end, 6600 Now, let's just say... This is what you're actually going to get for the car. Let's say you're going to, again, being a little generous here. Let's just say you take it to a chop shop and they give you 20 grand for that Chrysler 300. You divide it by five. You're getting $4,000. Now, let's see what the charges are that you might be facing. Armed robbery. Or, uh, so here we go. I was able to find this information. Um, it should be accurate, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you... Jack this person with the car. Um, you rob them of their property, and then let's just say you get caught. So these are the uh, the potential fines. It is also a type of conviction that will affect their future reputation and employment. An individual charged and convicted of carjacking should expect in Philadelphia to face maximum sentences permitted by law. Sentences often start at five years incarceration and a ten thousand fine, with a long periods of probation to follow. So you steal this man's car. Let's just assume it's the highest version. It's worth $45,000 divided by five of you guys, right? So you're looking at $9,000. And now you get caught. So now you have to pay $10,000 in fine, right? And then now you're down in the hole about $1,000. And then it gets worse. In some cases, in some cases, up to 10 years or more and find fines excessive of $25,000 per count. So you can do up to 10 years for stealing that car and paying up to $25,000. That's a lot of money. I ain't got 25 Gs to be burning like that. All right. All right. So now you spend, you know, 10 years of your measly wasted life in prison. So you, you spent 10 years for stealing that car, which is that you got 9,000 out of, right? So 9,000, 9,000, so 10 years, 10 years divided by $9,000 comes up to $75 a month. Congratulations. You're getting paid $75 a month. For 10 years and you wasted and things you wasted all these years being in jail instead of being at home taking care of your family or doing other things that are more productive to society instead you choose to throw away your life for 75 dollars a month for 10 years but that's being on the highest of the uh, spectrums so let's say 
Mm. You spent about what? Five years in prison? Let's do the math here. So 9,000. Being again at the most, you know, getting that full price. This is MSRP here. Divided by what? 60 months. So you're looking at $150 per month for those charges. Now let's just say you're getting, you got $4,000. Being as the car is the very bottom of the barrel or, um, let me see here. What was my other calculations? 20. So let's just say the car sold for 20 grand and you got $4,000. So $4,000 divided by 60 months. You're looking at $66 a month for five fucking years. Was your crime worth it? Hell no. Anybody would sense if you do the math, it's not worth it. Plus, there's five of you guys. If one of you guys tell, if one of you guys get caught for any other charges, they will snitch. And then it's just the ripple effect. It's just going to go down the line. And all of you guys will go down for robbery. And you're looking at five to ten years and fines up to $25,000, which you're not going to have because you split it five ways. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, like I said early on in the video, make sure you guys are mindful, be aware, situ situ situational awareness. Be ready so you don't have to, you know, yeah, so you don't get caught slipping. I mean, I've seen a ton of these videos on YouTube on how to be prepared and always watch yourself. So I'm giving that same message to you. Watch yourself. Be aware of your surrounding. Be paranoid as fuck if you have to, because at the end of the day, you got to go home. You got people that depend on you and people that need you. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Appreciate that.